Hello everyone, welcome back to Jurassic World Evolution and this comes from Chaos Theory. I started off playing this one, remember the game crashed, I didn't save it. So let's start again. Yeah, we're stuck on the research the page. Mosquito. Frozen in time for millions of years. And trapped within it. Well, that discovery would change our world. For a while, we thought that this was as close as we could get to dinosaurs. Turns out, we were wrong. Years of research into how to complete the DNA sequence for a dinosaur led us to this. Life unlike anything seen on this planet for 65 million years. Jurassic Park. We know how well that went, but what if someone like you had been there to temper some of that rampant hubris? For Jurassic Park to succeed, you're gonna need to make sure it's safe for all your guests. This is the adventure of their lifetime. We don't want it to be their last. Hopefully the game doesn't crash this time. Press, I think the person who thought the idea of the Indominus Rex deserves a slap. It's not a good idea to crossbreed another dinosaur. Wonderful, isn't it? This is a paradise, but it is missing what it once had. Until we bring them back, this place will show people something spectacular. Dinosaurs, no longer confined to our imaginations. Dinosaurs in the flesh. And the moment people see them, that moment of astonishment, of magic, well, you're going to be a part of that spectacle. Jurassic Park will open on its schedule, and the world will be as it once was, a land of the dinosaurs. I have played a mission briefly. Ah, good, good. Glad to see you getting settled in. I want to introduce you to Lily Halford, who is our Director of Operations here at the park. She'll get you up to speed. Thank you, Dr. Hammond. Okay, I don't understand uh, that. John! The fucking path going right out of it. Right then. As Dr. Hammond... Oh, John has already told you, our goal is to get Jurassic Park fully operational as quickly and safely as we can. We are literally doing things that were considered impossible, so it will be a challenge. Making the impossible possible. Yes, yes, I rather like that. We will need to prep the facility for the dinosaurs. Begin with a functioning visitor center and a science center. And remember that both must be connected to pathways. Oh, and power as well. I can see that all is in good hands. Do carry on. We'll keep you updated. Splendid. Absolutely splendid. As a top geneticist, top, Dr. Henry Wu. I should expect that you'll be meeting him soon. That is, if you haven't already. I'm settled in and ready to get started. So if we're to get the dinosaurs we want, we first need a hatchery. If you could construct one, then my staff and I can get to work. Yeah, 
yet they're researching it. I can't make a research any fucking faster. Velociraptors. Yes, we're going to start with raptors. I know you may have concerns, but both John and I agree that they represent some of our most viable candidates. You'll need to synthesize their eggs using the available genome research I've provided. And of course, let me know the results the moment you have them. Probably it needs that three people do one fucking task. first synthesis was unsuccessful which means that we clearly have room for improvement but we don't stop we get better I've identified some areas in the synthesis process that need further research see what you can learn at the science center and get back to me
We're beginning with raptors? I'm not sure we're ready. Every precaution has been taken. I'm following the science, and these dinosaurs are our best chance at success. We've learned so much, and we'll continue to learn as we move forward. Yes, yes, of course. And I do understand your concern, Ms. Halford. Every dinosaur carries a certain amount of risk. And it's our job to mitigate it as much as possible. Keep the lawyers out of my hair and the dinosaurs safely and happily within their enclosures, and you shall have my eternal gratitude. Dr. Hammond, does that mean we have your authorization to proceed? Yes. Most enthusiastically. Now we wait. Dr. Wu's assurances we'll want the proper response teams in place. I'm not saying anything will go wrong. I'm just erring on the side of caution. We can start with a ranger post, build one inside the Velociraptor enclosure, then create a response facility. From there, assign a ranger patrol to the post. comfortable in their enclosures. The less they feel stress over their captivity, the more they'll begin to act within their expected behaviors. This is better for them and obviously better for us. 
check on the raptors' welfare, and remember, they're still getting habituated to their new enclosure. There isn't much entertainment and educational value in the park if our visitors cannot see our dinosaurs. I mean, what's the point, really, if not to see these majestic animals up close? Well, we can construct viewing galleries which should provide the guests with what you're after, John. They won't believe their eyes. <laughs> which is exactly what we want. Precisely my thoughts as well, Lily. And why they'll want to keep coming back time and time again to Jurassic Park. Our dinosaurs offer priceless memories for a reasonable fee. <laughs> ah, yes. Now you're getting it. We need to get a paleo medical facility in place to ensure any sick or injured dinosaurs can be taken care of. That's a good idea. We need to keep our dinosaurs healthy. That should be one of the first things we built. We should have built it before we got the dinosaurs. Oh well. I'm in need of more genetic samples than we have here at the park. We can send out expeditions of our own to gather fossils, but what we really need is for you to get an expedition center under construction. Then, we can extract DNA from these new fossils gathered in the field and rebuild an even more diverse set of dinosaur genome sequences. This should be your priority.
Why the fuck is it paused? Say so pause was on the screen. Private hours just because I run out of money. We don't have any fucking income. a new herbivore into an enclosure. I want to observe these animals in the wild. I mean as wild as we will allow.
With so many moving parts, I want to make sure we don't lose sight of our reason for being on the island in the first place. The dinosaurs. Their lives come by our hands, and now they rely on us for their continued existence. This is our responsibility, and one we cannot take lightly. I want you to be sure that our dinosaurs are as comfortable as possible. Missing forest now, is it? Of course. Dr. Wu and Dr. Hammond would both like us to increase the diversity of animal species in the park and then construct a ride where they can be viewed. Make it something impressive. Alright guys, that will be it for this video. We'll continue on in the next video. If you liked this video, please like and subscribe. Till next time.